Hello everybody, Stuart from Riku here. Today I want to talk about chat applications and how you can build chat applications directly within Riku. We've integrated the best chat APIs for AI. You can use ChatGPT, which is GPT 3.5, GPT 4, or the Claude models from Anthropic. Let's have a look at how these look when you build them out seamlessly and easily within Riku for both coders and no coders alike. Product demonstration is very, very simple. We'll go over what makes a great chat application and all of the things you need to go from experimenting to deploying in less than two minutes. So first things first, how do we get to the chat app builder? You come to the bottom here, you click chat GPT studio, and it's gonna load you up to our chat app studio. Here, you can modify a few different things about the chat application that will help it when you share it with other users. You might want to make it public, you might want to embed it on your site, or you might want to password protect it. All of these things are possible with Riku. So you can change the greeting message, you can change the placeholder text, I will just put ask me anything for now. And then we can come in and we can choose what model we want. We have Claude within Riku. If you want to use Claude for free, sign up for Riku today. To celebrate the launch, we are letting anyone use Claude. But remember, Claude doesn't have a system message. So it's great for more general purpose chats. Whereas if you are looking for something which is going to be deeper for your business, you might want to use one of the GPT OpenAI models that are available for now. So if you choose GPT 3.5, for example, you can then put in a system message over here, or you can load one up from the examples. It's really important to think about the system message because it's something that a lot of people sort of neglect and they don't put enough detail in it. So the system message is all about being super specific about your business. So the way that I like to look at this is if I'm trying to create a specific uh, chat app to answer emails, if I put something super generic in there, I'm gonna get the output, but it's not gonna be as specific to my business as it could be with a well-crafted system message. I think it's super important to emphasize this point. Say I am going to be writing a system message and I am going to put, you are a robot who answers emails for a business. Any email that you see, you will write a response for. You put that as your system message and you're gonna get responses to your emails, but they're not gonna be specific for your needs. If I wanted to craft something really great for my business, say Riku.ai, I would put in a system message, you are a, an assistant who helps answer emails to the founder of Riku.ai. Riku.ai is a business that aggregates all of the best large language models in a single place, and it helps people to experiment, test, and deploy this AI technology within their business. Riku makes it super simple and helps break down the barriers to entry for AI. So your job with answering these emails is to be really excited, um, but be concise and helpful to the emails that you receive. You see, by having the extra detail in that system message from a robot just answering responses, to padding it out with all of the details regarding the business, which one is gonna give you the better outputs and which one is gonna be more specific to your company and your business. So that is why spending a bit of time and crafting a really nice detailed system message is gonna help you out when using AI. For privacy reasons, I'm not gonna do the one based on my email but I will do one based on a resort because I think this is really interesting and you can see the detail that I've put into the system message. So let's have a read of what we've done. We have said, you are a hotel receptionist, 
The resort is called Apple Tree Resort. We've given information about the Wi-Fi. We've given information about check-in. We've given information about the checkout, how to get there, what amenities, what type of crowd, et cetera, et cetera. You can look at the system message in full as I've written it here. And you can see that I've written quite a lot of text. And this is super important for getting something which is going to work for your needs. So now I have crafted a system message that I am happy with. How do I use it? Well, we just go save chat prompt and we could say Apple Tree Resort and we could say receptionist chat app for Apple Tree. And we can create that and now we can interact with it. So we have this testing environment here where we can start. We already have a session. So we can now start talking to the chat app that we created. It's really that simple. So you go, hey, I have a booking in two days time. I am in Phuket. How do I get to you? And we can use command, control and enter to enter this into the text. And then the AI is going to respond based on what we've put in. So we have the response from the AI. So they said to get to our resort, you need to take a ferry. Uh, once you arrive, we send our staff to pick you up, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if you need any assistance or let us know. Looking forward to welcoming you, blah, 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 blah. So that's really cool. And then we could say, okay, that's great. Do you know which pier I need to go to on Phuket? We didn't put this in the system message, but it might know it from elsewhere. I'm hoping it says something about Rasada Pier. Let's see if we get. Yeah, the ferry to PP Island from Phuket usually departs from Rasada Pier. So this is really cool. And if I want to test other things about this test app, uh, about this chat app, I can just start another session and I can toggle between my sessions here. So I could say, uh, I'm currently staying in the luxury bungalow. I'd like to extend one more night. Is it possible? So, we can test it through multiple sessions and have multiple conversations at the same time. So I could go back here and I could say, that's awesome. My friend might join me. She needs a bungalow. So we can test out all of these conversations in unison. So we could have session one, we could have session two, and you can write things and get the answers each time. So we have a nice message saying, yeah, extending is possible. We have the information saying that we have bungalows available and the price range. And this is the test environment. So from here, we can then embed this directly on a page or we can send the link and share it with customers, with guests, if they're coming to stay. So let's have a look at how we would go about doing that. So now I've tested my chat application. I'm happy with the way it performs and I'm happy with the output. So this is like the development side of things. And then if I want to share it with other people, what I would do is I would come to publish my chat app and I can choose whether I want to make it public. I can put a specific image on it if I want to do that, and I can change the name and description. So making it public will then mean that anybody who has this URL will be able to interact with it. But what I can do is I can put a password on it if I want to, to limit the people who can access it. So for example, if I'm running this through Airbnb and people have booked, then I can say, hey, you've booked. If you want to interact with our AR assistant, go to this link and here is a password that will allow you to access more information. So that would be a really nice workflow and it would work quite well. 
But if I want to just keep this private, then I can toggle this off and I can toggle this off. I can also get an embed from it. So from this, I could put it on my website. So if I wasn't on Airbnb and I had my own direct booking website, then I could embed this and people could ask questions prior or after booking. I'm not going to do any of these right now, but I will show you how the public app link looks by coming here. So here we have the name of whatever you've called it. You can change the logo to something of your own and people can interact with it by typing and they can get their questions answered here. So it's really that simple to go from setting up your system message, hitting, uh, saving a few bits of information to then publishing your chat app for other people to use. That is really the power of creating these chat apps within Riku because you can go from the idea to having something live and a proof of concept within literally minutes. So I hope this has been helpful and I hope you have fun making chat apps within Riku. So just to wrap everything up nice and simply, you can create chat apps within Riku within minutes now. You can create them to be public, you can password protect them, or you can embed them on any page you like. You can do this with GPT 3.5, you can do this with GPT 4, and you can do this with the Claude models from Anthropic. The OpenAI models, you bring your own key like you do with most of the technologies within Riku. For Claude, as it is a launch special at the moment, if you want to build these out and experiment and test with Claude yourself, you may not have had access to it elsewhere, sign up for Riku today because we are covering all the costs of Claude during this initial launch period. We're excited to see what you build with these chat applications, and we are bringing more controls in our version three of the product, which we'll be releasing soon. With this, you'll be able to see all of the conversations that people have had with your chat app. You will be able to hook your chat app up to specific knowledge. So you'll be able to put documents and have it sort of search the internet and find relevant things for what you need. And we're going to bring some more team features and functionality to these chat apps so that it works for you and your whole organization. If that sounds like fun and you haven't got a Riku account, sign up today at riku.ai. We'd love to have you on board. Thank you.